may the enlightened protect me in this battle. Yes.
Esquitu. Welcome to Eden, the lighthouse of faith, harmony, and civilization in these wild lands. Thank you. De Sade, I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. And I am Father Justinius. Delighted. And what may I do for you? I must leave you. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in their de...
You are from the continent, are you not? You are different than the people from here. Delighted to see you again, Sister Ephesia. Father Petrus, is that really you? What are you doing here? Merely a courtesy call. How might I help you? How has your mission fared up until now, sister? Not very well, I'm afraid. I haven't been able to get much from these villagers. Their chief and their priest are evasive when questioned. As for the other natives, their behavior can be quite odd. They'll spend hours just staring into the void. But as soon as I come close, they chase me away. They frighten me, I must admit. There is a heavy veil of evil here. I feel it, but I'm not able to find from whence it comes. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. Anything else? Have you been here for a long time? Since the beginning of my investigation. A few weeks, perhaps, although it feels like months. I'm not particularly fond of the wild, and I find this place unsettling. I see. Anything else? That will be all, Sister Ephesia. Thank you. Anything new? No. Perhaps you should...
Can't you leave us alone? Monisonite! Good day. Are you the wise man of this village? Burd tir du mad renaikse. Oi and the donegad. Yes. I would like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. The people of your island are constantly asking questions, yet reject any answers that displease them. Questions have no value when one already claims to know the answers. But it is your case. You believe you know the answers. You seek only their echo. Answer your own questions. At least then the answers will please you, and we shall be done with your foolishness. That is not what I... Qua awelemseg. May your answers fill your day with bounty. Leave us alone, Renaikse. We have had enough of all your foolish questions that never end. Bird tear to mud on all Menawi. I am Derdra, daughter of Enora, daughter of Rowena, Mal of this clan. Is it you who helped my warriors discover what the men of the Red Sun were doing? Indeed. Then I thank you. It's probably because you are an on all Menawi that you are different from the other Renaikse. What do you seek? Do you know anything about a demon that would be worshipped by your clan? It is not enough to take us for idiots, and now you accuse us of bowing down to evil creatures. But a lack of understanding leads to fear, so I will not prove you wrong. An enemy who knows fear is already defeated. What can you tell me about your clan? My people are proud, full of courage and tough. That which destroys others makes us stronger. Many of them fear us, even amongst the other clans, because the fury of the storm warriors is a story often told. But when we are not fighting, we are peaceful people, and we are happy guarding over our sacred woods. Anything more? Concerning this story about a cult... Enough! Enough questions, I have nothing more to say.
Birtir to Madre Naikse. Good day. Do you want something? Could you answer a few questions? Questions, questions. It is a word that you adore. Let us play a game. If you answer my questions, I will answer yours. If it's the only way to get answers, then let's play. I am pleased. We will have fun. But beware, no lies. What name is given the place from where you come? I come from Serene, a grand city on the continent of Gekane. Really? It is possible that you come from there, but I believe that this is not your land. Your turn. This is a delicate question, but would you know anything about a demon? A demon? I think that that is what the bright and shiny mind shakers call the spirits, no? There are spirits everywhere. In you, and in us, in each tree, in each spring. There is not only one. I cannot tell you more if you are not more precise in what you seek. Let's try something else. Are you on all Menawi with your land? Or did you inherit your link from your parents? I'm not bound. Or at least I haven't done anything in particular to bind myself. Then it was your parents. One of them at least must have been Donegad. Your turn. What can you tell me about the rituals? Oh, I see what interests you. You want to know how our warriors are so strong. But I don't have an answer. It is a secret of the Donega. The rituals I know are made to celebrate nature, to honor and bring her blessings upon us. It was fun. More than with the woman who makes light, she did not want to play. Can't you leave us alone? No. Leave me be! Even your thoughts are loud and break my peace! Erenaixe ya toigan quachesa de elodes, summer mila, mach de wegander. Do you want something? Enough questions. You have a strange stare, Anaixe. Leave me alone. Do you want something? Enough questions. Not welcome in my home. Birtir to Mad, Anal Manawi. What do you want?
Tell me about the missionaries that came here, those who wear the symbol of the sun on their clothing. When they came, they spoke about their bright and shiny god. They told us we were wrong, said that nature was just nature, and not to be worshipped. These men know nothing. We ignored them. They finally left, and then the woman came to us. She sniffed around everywhere, asking many questions, just like you. I was told that she tried to enter my own home. I even saw her trying to follow me in the woods. She must be careful. It is easy to get lost in the woods, or cross paths with wild beasts. What can you tell me about the beliefs of your village? The beliefs of the village? That is a strange question for an Onol Manawi. Our beliefs are the same as those of the other clans. We believe in the earth that carries us and feeds on our dead, in the rain that quenches us and drowns us, in the beasts that feed us and in those that eat us. I do not know what more I can say to you. Everyone shares these beliefs. You're different from the others. What is your role in the village? Different? Why? Well, for one, you answer me when I speak. You others, when we don't answer you, you start digging for answers everywhere else. I am a gatherer. I hunt a little. I do my part for the life of the village. This question will seem strange to you, but... Do you know anything about a demon? A... demon? A dark spirit, if you prefer. No. There is no such thing as dark spirits. Your question is not strange. Foolish, perhaps. What can you tell me about your rituals? Our rituals? Nothing. Nothing at all. They do not concern me. I am not a Denegad. Even you. You should be able to tell that. Why you bother me with these questions? I am only a gatherer. Go and bother someone else. I must leave now. Thank you for your help. Anything new? No. The investigation has gone stale. The villagers won't even engage in conversation with me now. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. I managed to exchange a few words with some villagers, but I admit they don't seem keen to talk. And did they tell you anything worth sharing? I know little more about their beliefs. They worship nature and do not intend to change. It is certainly different from the Luminous Faith, but it's hardly demonic worship. Yet, there's something strange about this village. One of the villagers that spoke with me seemed truly worried. On edge, even. I think I know of whom you speak. A man always looking over his shoulder. He often sneaks out of the village like a thief. I attempted to follow him, but he always eludes me. I tried to get into his hut to see if he was hiding anything. But someone was always there. Then we should give it a try. Perhaps we'll fare better. Hmm, this fellow did not seem very honest to me. If he's hiding something from us, perhaps we can find out what it is by searching his house. He doesn't look inclined to let us in. We'll have to distract him. I wonder if that eccentric young lady could help us. She seems to like you. Or, of course, we could create a diversion by breaking some of these pots. I can pretend to be clumsy, but we'll have to work fast and it will only work once. Do you want something? 
Might I ask you a few questions about the villagers? More questions? You really like this game. You really do. <sighs> if we could avoid the... Very well. But be brief then, because it is not good fun. What can you tell me about that man down there? I spoke to him, and he seemed... nervous. Don't hold it against him. The people of the Light have already questioned us. That makes him distrustful. He is a man of few words, but he is devoted to the village and listens to the Danae God with great attention. He is a gatherer, but everyone knows he wants to become the next Vogelendijk, the next servant of Danae God. Where does this man live? Down there. His dwelling is right in front of my own. I would like to take a look inside. What? Why would you want to do that? It is his home. You have nothing to do there if you are not invited. I really must go inside. I need to clarify something. If you can help us. My child, I understand you might be shocked by this request, but have no fear. We have no intention of taking or destroying anything. We would just like to put to rest a few rumors. You are one of them, aren't you? One of these men who shake our minds. A man of the light. Well, that's correct. I am a priest of Telemi. All of that are just words. And it is not fun. If you want my help, I want the hat of the mind shaker woman. Very well. I will go and ask her, but I cannot promise that she will accept. Say, you are not welcome in my home. Leave me, Renaik. Say, I have. Did you learn anything? No, nothing more. I'm working on it. Anything else? This may seem a strange request, but I have something to ask. I need you to give me your hat, so that I might sneak into the house of the native. My hat? I don't see how it could possibly make you more discreet. Is this some sort of joke? <laughs> no. A woman is willing to help me in exchange for your bonnet. Go ahead and mock. It matters not. My mission takes precedence over my pride. Take it. Want something? Here. I present to you her hat. Hmm. Very well. I shall distract him, but be discreet and very quick. And be respectful of what you find there. Be good. such a thing unless they're worshipping some dark creature. 
I will admit that it's rather ghastly. But I'm almost certain that the warriors of this island wear these things in battle. This altar is incredibly morbid. I wonder what sort of spirit could be venerated in this way. This is exactly the kind of proof we've been looking for. An evil cult, far from some naive veneration of nature and other island spirits. This painting is frightening, evoking war, a massacre, a bloodbath under the likeness of a grimacing face. All these gruesome and bloody horrors leave no room for doubt. There is a demonic cult here. We should go tell Sister Ephesia. Did you learn anything? No. Nothing more. I was able to sneak. And what did you discover? Some troubling things. A ritual mask, a rather morbid altar, and a fresco depicting a massacre. By the enlightened. To think these unholy things were so near. Finally, the proof we need that there's a blood-worshipping cult here. They cannot perform their heinous pagan rituals in the village. And I'm certain that it's where our nervous friend sneaks off to. I fail to find where he goes, but you have already proven more competent than I. I shall try. Hopefully he won't lead us into a trap. Thank you for your help, and good luck. We should wait until nightfall and follow him. Naikse know how to make great houses and giant boats, but you are too crazy to hear the voice of nature. Here we could hide and wait. We would be able to see where this sleepless boy goes during nightfall. Wake up, Greenblood. He's here.
Where could our man have gone? These strange roots are forming some kind of door. This must be where he went. 